All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Space, Space Brothers, Brothers, episode 12. 12. They're in a container. Cube, a capsule, a, a simulated spaceship. spaceship experience. It's just like Star Wars. But yes. two weeks, just the five of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get this to know each test. other real well after yep, this. Get comfortable. Now, because... I'm also excited to know will they end up coming coming out of this for their exercises or is it the no all the exercises all the think tasks are inside i think this. that's what it's going to be i think it's just going to be everything is in here yeah i'm i'm very excited for this mm -hmm. um also given that these are the five characters that are you know main team team a and all that yeah yeah uh, i can very easily see why the story decided these characters were all going to be together here yes it's going to maximize the drama and interest mm -hmm. here now there is a thing that they're trying to solve right now which uh is interesting what time is it right now yeah i mean why bojack kind of figured that out. out but you know in, in terms of uh, uh <laughs> in terms of uh what they have here they've gone through the formula and all that of oh this is how much time has elapsed since then and right which is just like 3 a.m no calculations yeah it's like it's obvious so i'm excited for his reveal as well as well of like y'all did you not see the the thing that right makes it 3 a.m and they're like and oh so help me if it's actually just that he has a, a dang watch right and he's just like <laughs> like <laughs> or it's even better it's like a thing that every like hour mm. you know so it's technically not a watch but it's like a right it like it did it three times like just a little bit ago or something you know yep I don't know. This is a sci-fi. This is the year 2023 or 2025, right? Right. You know? I, I want it to be something where it's like, nah, it's relative. It doesn't matter. But the fact that he said 3 a.m., it's like, okay, what's what's the What's deal? the answer? But yeah. Yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. What? 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 さい確認。何実は俺みんなの知らない数字を知ってるんだよね。何ですか。バスが走った距離だよ。わあ。問題はバスの中だ。何時間眠ったのかが結局わからない。消灯するまでをバッチリ計算できたとしてもその先。みんな寝ていたんだから。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、い
that he's bald. So no tsuide no dekigoto da. Tamatama shi sen no saki ni mie tan da. Wow! Oh my god. Even better! This just keeps getting funnier! Tato, yeru no daro ka? Uh huh. Yeah. Alright. That's. That's too funny. Ongo yonda page su to cube o toida kai su de kei san dekimasu. Okay. So kote ima wa gozen sanji goro dewa nai ka to suisatsu. Dang! Sugoi yo, Tomi kun. Mina, iron wa nai ne. I also looked at the clock on the way out. Ten Sanji Sugio Kaito to Shimas. Watch it be, it doesn't matter. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Boy genius. But breakfast! If you go to sleep, breakfast comes faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Okay. Fun. See, every little thing adds up. Oh, backstory. Oh. お父さん、<笑> あれ。あ。うん。11月25日。天気不明。閉鎖ボックスに入る。いや、ありがたい。ごめんなさい。ナンバさん。I'm <笑> Oh, she woke up early. Yeah. <laughs> Only five hours of sleep. Less than five. Those yards. Yeah.。この声、鶴見さんっていうのか。ああ。赤も減っていることでしょう。二つ目の課題は朝食を用意して食べることとします。All right. まってましたやつ通路横の物品受け渡し室に食料がありますおおなこにあるだけの食料でこの二週間を乗り切ってくださいこんな手や食事当番は各班で自由に決めてくださいこちらから指示は出しません足りるかな that's fun who has cooking skills? Mm-hmm. Alright, inventory, let's see. Mm. Wait. Whoa, really? Okay. どうするか決めないとな。食事当番とか。うん、それもそうだけど、鶴見さんが言ってたろ。ここに入る前に。最終日が来たら、各班互いに。He's bringing this up right now. Yeah. Hmm.
no probably a bit early to, to be talking about that. Trying to make it objective so that that way. Hmm. That way you don't have to worry about emotions at the end of it. Okay. Also, Oh, that's cool. But people could put their own name in anyway, you know? Sure. There's a lot of flaws in that one. Yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's also such a like a kind old person's way of doing it, you know. Oh. Uh. こんにちは。ふっとは関数字の6に太いと書きます。え、なぜうちの親が長男に6をつけたかというと、その時の親父のラッキーナンバーが6だったかららしいです。いや、he's yeah, smart. ロケット開発に携わっていました。ね、いや、いや、立派な研究だよ。え、あ、うん。じゃあ、最後は。え、he has he been doing that by mistake this entire time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna be like, it's okay. Yeah, okay. There it is. Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> she also gets to decide what's mm -hmm. being eaten, you know. Yeah. That's what my dad thought too. Hmm. Yeah. I just like the way it sounds, you know. Yasashita's yeah, my name doesn't have any meaning, mm -hmm. but... I have that! You know, my mom and dad just like the name. Right. Or they made it up, you know? Mm-hmm. Aww. Mm, all that stuff means so much when you're a little kid. It does, yeah. Oh, She's not excited to see him, yeah. Hmm. Kind of disappointed her. あ、意味がない名前ってみんなに笑われた。ああ。意味を一つに絞れなくてさ。お父さん。それで生まれたてのセリカの顔を見たとき。ああ。なんとなく出てきたんだよ。セリカって。いや、あ、あ、あ、あ
名前に意味はありませんいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいや My name can mean whatever I want it to be, you know? Yep. Okay, cool. All right. We got the puzzle solved, mm -hmm. and there, there was no puzzle. Freaking yeah. Buta, he just saw the <laughs> clock as he left the bus. Yeah. I, 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 I love that because mm -hmm. it's the kind of thing that, yes, they're not paying attention that closely to just the fact that the time was literally on the bus when they left. Right. Now... For some, that might, might have been a part of it. It was like, mm -hmm. are you the kind of person that would have noticed this? Yeah. We just also want to see how you come to this conclusion as well. Right. See the thought process. These are, yeah. as you're establishing basically your little community for the next two weeks, mm -hmm. there are a lot of little things you'll need to do. Right. Ah, what's the time? Sure. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. How do we eat? Yeah. What, you know, how are we going to ration food and all that stuff? Also yeah. makes a ton of sense. But the fact that Muta lied about it to look good to Serica is yep. just, it's just, it's just I love peak that. Muta behavior yeah. because mm -hmm. it's, it's so like he's gotten into his own head or what have you that he needs to be really cool and really smart and exactly. super genius and oh my gosh. And yet like, bro, it's actually just kind of cool that you noticed the thing that nobody else noticed. Right. But yeah, it's not necessarily going to make them feel as cool about it because it's the, oh, yeah. I could have just could have been just paying attention. Paying attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. But to JAXA, even if they, you know, were like, oh, the odometer? Oh, okay, cool. Well, I mean, that's this is the guy that noticed the screw thing, you know? The odometer? No, we were totally driving like 55 kilometers per hour. <laughs> hmm. Hey, hey, you know what? Doesn't have to show his work if he's accidentally right, you know? Yep, exactly. Which, it just bugs me so much. There's so many things that have happened in my life where they're like, oh, you know, but you didn't know how exactly. But I'm like, but I was right. Mm. I was I, right. I literally, I've like, intuitively, like, figured out the actual answer here. Literally the one time I ever dropped out of a class in, uh, in like, running start, you know, in that mm -hmm. whole time, was because I could not understand what the professor wanted with regards to the amount of work being shown and when to mm -hmm. do it and when not. And yeah. It was, it was ridiculous. It was stupid. Yeah. yeah. Stupid. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, show these two or three steps, yeah. Right, like, got it. It's like, oh, you missed this step here. Like, like I understand saying, ah, oh, you need to show your work. But there were times where he'd mark it up and be like, why are you showing your work this much? And I'm like, <laughs> when so, tests are worth so a third annoying. of your grade, you know? So stupid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyhow, mm -hmm. uh, rant there. Yep. Uh, Serica Focus. Uh, yeah. We get to know not only... A little bit of her her past and stuff, but mm -hmm. mostly just uh, entirely surrounding the idea that she had a name that was a basically made up name. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't really have a meaning to it. Nope. But the idea that oh names carry with them some weight. Yeah. Nanbasan, he's you know big brother. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of weight behind his name. Uh, oh, the whole pseudomy for a bald guy. You know what that that fits. That actually. Fits. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Serika, uh, he likes the sound of that name. Mm -hmm. And yeah, of course, he's in love with her. He's, you know, right. not in and love. He's just more obsessed with her. You know, right. And smitten, the, if you the will. decision to, like, when she's like, oh, yeah, you can call me by my first name, to have his hair just, just come alive. Woom, woom, woom. That. That was just reminding inspired. Us that this is the things that you can do in anime that you can't do in live action, uh -huh. you know? <laughs> yep. And actually, I just realized we happened to stop on like a frame where his hair looks like exactly like his mom's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Kinda, yeah. But, but yeah. Oh, it's, just, okay. it's just cute fun. And mm -hmm. then having uh, Serika and him be set up to spend a lot of time together by being the... Uh, Chef and sous chef. Mm -hmm. uh, expecting a lot of yes chefs and no chef or oh, behind That's chef. Right. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, excited for that. Uh, as someone that worked a lot in the food service industry. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when do they go up and they take two space 
meals and then put them to the side. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, but uh, Nita brought up already the voting process and the idea that everyone kind of brought that up at the same time without it being prompted by Right, like first opportunity. Yeah, yeah right after they're talking about mm -hmm. food and basically the time that they're going to spend yep. with this because I'm guessing a lot of them were like, hey, we'll go for the way of convenience early because this is our right. day, first day and everything. Yeah. Let's eat the space food now mm -hmm. and spend the rest of the time talking. Yep. Um, I like that they're coming up with different systems because they're all... Both of the ones that they brought up with points and ballot boxes, no. super flawed. Yeah. Super flawed. Then we, you're not going at the person who, you're not picking the person who is the best astronaut. It's the person who was best at the system that you come up with. Right. And that's mostly going to be the case no matter what system mm -hmm. they choose because even they don't technically choose a system right if they choose a person they're choosing a system in their head right and so i, I like the idea of them being like hey like because i i was thinking along the same lines as the old guy right yeah by the end it'll be pretty obvious yep. you know and that's what the that's why they're doing this test right. is because as we do things it'll be obvious for them yeah. right the but, main the main thing that i would personally mm -hmm. say that it has to be as far as you know what they what they do with this here mm -hmm. is uh blind voting at the very end and the only thing that they can do with it is basically write the two names on two separate pieces of paper everyone flips up at the same time that's oh, sure. that's the system that in my mind works the best because while they might talk to each other about trying to coordinate certain things mm, or what mm -hmm. have you, you can't stop that. That's going to happen whether you do the point system, the ballot box system, or any of those. Right. But the main thing you cannot have, and this is why I kind of like the ballot system a little bit, even though it's easily abusable, right. is that um, it's blind. You don't have any way of having your vote in the moment be influenced by somebody else's in the moment. So... Um, yeah. Uh, that's a very important part of any kind of uh Although to be fair, if you like do this. the if you do the ballot box thing, because um you could have like recency bias where like if someone does something really cool the day before, you know, oh, then people totally. are like more in their head. But if you have it something where they just sign their name on each of the things and then you total everything up and it's the okay, there should be, you know, fourteen for or uh you know, yeah, fourteen for each or twenty eight for each person, you mm -hmm. know. Right, but I don't, I don't, I don't like the everyday kind of thing with yeah. this. It's to me, it's it seems potentially like it seems potentially abusable. With sure, okay. To how you would structure it, um, and that could also get into just like weird like pattern things, or like you think, ah, this person did a good job here, mm -hmm. and then you just sort of stick with that because that's who you've been voting, you know, the entire time. Well, uh, yeah, the the weight that is put to the things that are done recently, but also the things that were done uh, first. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I I think the best system might also just be the conversation had at the end of the you know the two weeks or what right. have you. You could also go for the we're going to not talk about this at all, like that's our rule, except for these three staged meetings where we all come together and we just talk about it. Sure. And if you see anybody talking about it, it's like, hey, hey, come on, cut, cut that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're in a confined space here. Right. There's we're no... focus we're focusing on being astronauts first. Right. And then we'll talk about who did the best job later. Yeah. And, and I do like the idea of having more granularity to the rating system in mm -hmm. some ways. Like having it be like a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, rather than it being potentially all at the end. But I do see a lot of value in potentially doing some uh kind of responsibility note taking uh kind of annotation of like what what happened over the course of the two weeks because i could see sure. also some things just being not noticed you know yeah certain things that are done that just uh go with that right like um hopefully serica gets a a bit of recognition now granted the fact that she's like able to cook and stuff mm -hmm. that's something that's more of a past experiences kind of a thing that doesn't necessarily have to do with um temperament or things like that no, but but it, but, it, but, but it, cooking that is that is a thing where you're basically doing something to help the team true right? but that's the exact same reason quote unquote that they're accepting muta's whole 
oh, he knew the time thing. That's so cool. That's true. Which, you know, is because of a past experience thing. In, the, in their head, that's why they're doing it. Yeah. And they're accepting that, mm -hmm. which is kind of the exact same thing. Yeah, like, it, well, and I'm... That's where I think what we were talking about in the previous episode's discussion of it's not actually about what the time is, it's about mm -hmm. how they come to the conclusion. Right. Is something, like, because, you know, the, they were saying, yeah, all of you guys would make great astronauts, right? right? And so whether or not you, you know, have someone who was reading and doing a Rubik's or, Cube, yeah, and so, cube, you know, yeah. you can estimate, you know, how much time it was, or whether you have someone who saw the, the clock, or, you mm -hmm. know, or not, right? That's... That's not going to be the thing that makes them think, ah, yes, this person should definitely be an astronaut. Right, you know? right. But, but, yeah. Okay. I like right. how this is moving along. Yeah. Um, uh, pacing has slowed a, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but uh, hopefully, I feel like... hopefully it picks up in, in the next couple of episodes. I, yes. I, think, I think it will naturally now that we've kind of gone through that introductory period of how yeah. things will be scheduled and such. And if they were to have a point that is one of the slower bits, it makes sense where it's the, hey, this is the final bit of the test. This is where we'll actually get to see whether Muta becomes an astronaut or not. Sure. Yeah, go into that in depth, sure. Yeah. But all right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link up here. You can also check out yeah, full-length timer reactions there as well, and any level of support gets you access to our Discord, where you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. See if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time.